as an administration is calling us the enemy of the people, um, I guess we saw some of that um, thought process yesterday. Mm. Uh, I do not think you needed to review the tape to see whether or not you were shaking your head. I think you're allowed to shake your head whenever you want, especially <laughs> when Spicer uh, is doing what he does most often right now, which was uh, giving a bogus response to your question. You know, you said you got wiretapping, you got Russia, and he goes, no, 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 you do. Look, we all know where the wiretapping thing came from. That was the premise for your question. And you asked it. He didn't like it. And that was the treatment that you got. Do you believe what he did to you, April, is different than what he does to other reporters? Well, let me say this. Um, there was a young lady from Politico over the weekend, um, a white woman, who was called an idiot by Sean. Um, it made headlines. We are the press who's under attack. We are under attack by this administration. It's about discrediting uh, credible media. And, you know, at this point, I'm, I, I happen to be a black woman, but I'm part of the press. Is there something on a deeper, more personal level happening now? <sighs> it's a tough one. And I want to believe that Mike, what Mike, Mike McCurry said, the former press secretary for Bill Clinton, he said there's a friendly adversarial relationship. I believe the friendly piece is, is gone now, as you said, Allison. It, it, it is getting personal, but it should never get personal in that room. It should be about the issues. I have no agenda, um, you know, calling people out of their name. I mean, if you get personal, it could go back and forth for days, and it's not about the issues, and it's about the issues. This is the White House. This is the home, the workspace of the President of the United States, the leader of the free world. People want to know what he's thinking, what he's doing. I cover all things presidential. It's not about me, but if it becomes about me, it's a sad day. There is uh, a lot of credibility issues when it comes to this administration, but that's where the press comes in, and we have to cover the issues and, and get all sides of the story. It's not just two sides, all sides of the story, to find out what is is and what is real versus fake. Now, when it comes to fake news, oh, yeah, there are some fake news uh, uh, organizations out there reporting on them, also supporting some of the uh, spin that's offered from this White House and maybe other White Houses. But I will tell you this, too, as well. You know, in that room that I've been sitting in for 20 years, and to see it recently, you just wonder about some of the people that are coming in the room now. Are they really journalists, or are they spectators posing as journalists? 